Welcome, Sagittarius Singles. This is your May 2021. 20, Excuse my voice, I got a bad allergy set. And uh, this is for singles, super singles, I say. Uh, I'm trying to ask Tarot here to bring in your soul bait, the one that's meant for you, or the shuffle. Um, not your next ex problem, next ex wife, next ex husband, ex boyfriend, ex girlfriend, but the one that's right for you, the one like you're right for them. So we ask in the name of light love, so it serves the greatest good here on the beautiful beach this morning. Our Sagittarius singles. Show us your soulmate spirit. We just want to meet them. We're going to pretend they've been flying around, can't land because you've been busy. Calling the airport, they can't land, can't land, but now they can land. And here they come, and we'll pick them up. We're going to go out like on a date and kind of get to know them. Maybe you'll hear them some of the stories they may tell, give you some idea what they're like enough to identify them. Four swords, this is their emotional aspect, okay? Three of wands, emotional aspects here. This is their intellectual aspect, chariot. The Knight of Pentacles. It's a little different read, so we don't have any terrible cards here, so we're all right. Um, get a little bit of wit. So we'll stop there. Here we're going to look at their sexual and love nature, and here we look at their lifestyle core values. Sitting at the plop at the beat, so here with my uh, woodwork. But let's see, so four swords and the three of wands emotionally. You know, they had a tough childhood, but a lot of people did, but I, I don't see like it was terrible. So I don't think they're going to tell you stories about terrible childhoods. And with the three of wands here at the bottom, sort of that conscious, unconscious here, how I read it. Um... And you're going to be kind of reserved emotionally, too. You might look for, like, an Aquarius mood or any air mood, Libra mood, Gemini mood. Possibly even, like, a cat mood. Um, so, kind of quiet. They might seem kind of withdrawn. Remember, this is your person. Um, they're not someone's going to want to grab the karaoke mic and start going at it. Uh, maybe if they're super hammered. Yeah, three of wands. But yeah, they're super hammered. Because, yeah, with the three of wands, just thought, too, like, <clears throat> sometimes people react so differently to it. And it's, uh, and that lets you release the inhibitions. Yeah, here comes the three of wands. Um, I wonder how bad a problem this noise is going to be. <laughs> ah. But uh, so they back off a little bit, don't bother us. Uh, but they might kind of have a little, they might be a little triggery too. I see them if you're sitting across from them, they're kind of quiet, they tend to listen. You're going to have to really draw them out, okay? And you can, and I honestly think like a couple drinks, I don't, think it is, I don't see toxic level here or anything like that. But they're just someone that might have a little trouble loosening up, you know? Uh, and uh, even need just a minute and uh, need to be somewhere comfortable to loosen up, that kind of thing. Uh, but sort of once they do, uh, the Three of Wands, Third House, Gemini, Actions, I think they could get more animated, they're more interested. But I still don't see them being someone that is going to really uh, talk a lot. And the Knight of Pentacles next to the Three of Wands, kind of that too. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles and the intellects, like the strong, silent type, you know. Um, but also like a, a Virgo, Mercury could be there too, or Virgo Sun. Uh, but in terms of the intellect, this is not someone you want to argue with unless you, you're really prepared. Uh, but so they're... They may, uh, you may see them start to open up to you more as you progress. 
spend a little time, have a couple drinks, you can kind of unwind and relax. Because it takes them a minute. <clears throat> and they'll start leading. I don't really still see them like being someone that's going to really want to dominate the conversation, talk a lot. But they're going to be more animated in the way they uh, listen to you. And they may touch you and say, oh, and laugh and, and lead into you more. And just uh, You'll see some kind of transformation. I don't mean to make this about alcohol. It's, it could be like, you know, you're rising, some of Virgo rising. It, it's a, as a person, I come in kind of cold, a loop, I want to check the situation. But I don't think I'm really a cold and a loop person. But I certainly present that way, usually. And uh, it's kind of like that, you know. Uh, uh, but really, deep down, they are like this warm person that's interested in life and uh, emotionally involved. And, um, but the three of wands too be like uh, a tendency with the Knight of Pentacles to intellectual curiosity and open mindedness and openness in general, you know. Um, and with the with the chariot here in the intellect position at the top, uh, they they focus their mind upon things that they feel. Uh, what did Bukowski say? I have no time for things that are not of the soul just like that they have no time for things that are not of the soul you know so in other words you know they don't really care about uh, TV game shows or popular this and that uh, they're they're focused their mind tends to focus on what they feel uh, is uh, important things for them that serves their life purpose. You have a strong sense of that. Um, intellectually, is really grounded, strong, focused person. Um, gets to see what's over here in their lifestyle and core values. Uh, because a person like this could accomplish anything, but they would not want a nine to five job. That with a mind like this, they might if they found the right place. You know. I don't know, maybe they became the CEO of a nonprofit that saves the whales. And, you know, but like when you talk about core values, I see the church kind of is the core values. And so they, they, they want to take the higher path with their mind, the higher mind. They're, they don't want to indulge their mind in little petty things. Um, and I think they just don't. It's not even like they have to make an effort, you know. Because with the Knight of Pentacles underlined, that boy, they're grounded here. You know? Um, so, also, this is someone, uh, they could tell you stories, too, about this, um, about their, uh, what life means to them and what purpose is to them. And it could be someone that's into Abraham Hicks and all of that. And uh, they're going to look at things in a big picture way from the Ninth House. Yeah, they're going to take solid actions, you know. Uh, this is somebody that can study, that can research. Like I say, you don't want to go and argue with this person about things. They're probably not going to argue with you unless it's something really meaningful to them. Uh, and when they do, they'll try to put it into some perspective that probably is really helpful, I think. Okay. Now, sexually, justice. Okay. It's not good or bad. King of Wands. Uh, Libra. If you had a Libra Venus, uh, you could have a uh, Leo Mars. That would be a nice combination. Mars loves Leo. <coughs> and Libra is ruled by Venus, so. I think we're looking, in terms of their natal charts, look at that too. I think we're looking at a Libra, Venus, and a Leo Mars person. I'll come, kind of come back to my opinion about that. It also speaks of their love nature too. Um, it's interesting with the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Wands here is what I'm looking at uh, with their intellect. And so they're going to be assertive, both in love um, but in a balanced way, you know, they're, they're like, uh, they're, they're not going to want to come if you don't come. And they're also um, going to be very caring about you in terms of the relationship, uh, caring of uh, 
how you're feeling and are you okay and what do you need and it's definitely not going to be all about them but they'll come to it from a place of the king of wands of being a, a male or female doesn't matter but someone that feels that they're in control is confident remember this is your person we're not talking about anything toxic here like that it's good we need an ego we need to feel in control we need to feel confident these are all good things you know uh, we don't want too much ego and overconfidence no but this person here it, with, with justice there does apply a nice balance like they know when to bring the sword down you know what i mean like they'd be a fantastic parent this person here okay the world uh, let's see what's going on this is their in the wheel of fortune so powerful here this is for their core values here in their lifestyle wheel of fortune in the world guys wow um, well I might not have been far off when I said the CEO of a nonprofit uh, with the world at top in the Wheel of Fortune, they, I think they've been lucky. I think this person, because this is kind of how they are in terms of their core values and lifestyle, and I think they're pretty open. They're pretty open-minded, and the Wheel of Fortune kind of applies that too. That Sag energy there. Tenth House might be Sagittarius. Um... They probably, if they don't, they probably held numerous positions, possibly of authority, something that affects the world. This is the kind of person that leaves the world better than they find it, okay? And they use their mind to do this here. Um, they really do see the big picture, and they can bring all the details to the big picture. But with the Wheel of Fortune here at the bottom, um... It, it's almost like uh, they maybe do contract work, uh, like they'll be finishing a contract in Indonesia on uh, some uh, their Air Force's uh, jet <clears throat> engine. Maybe they're a computer tech or something or an engineer, or, and then and that's coming to an end in the Wheel of Fortune. They just happen to get word that there's a new project starting that's really lucrative, and they bounce over to that. And the whole time, yeah, I think your person got money. I was going to say it. I mean, they're not wanting for money. They may go through, some, have some booze and busts, you know, but it doesn't, they don't give a shit. This is manifester. This is like, okay, this dude is, I remember a friend of mine said this. I was like, what do you mean you're, you know, you can manifest? Well, her second house was on fire, right? So I believe her. But she said, well, drop me down in any city in the United States with nothing, just buck naked under a bridge. And within a month, I'll be have a place to live. Within six months, I'll have a job and some money saved. And within a year, I'll have my own business, and I'll probably be doing pretty good. You know, that's what I mean. That's your person. I got I think that's what we're talking about here. You know, because they kind of know how to roll with it. You know, it's some kind of sense, too. It's almost like reading, uh, reading a stock market or something. Knowing when to hold them, knowing when to fold them. That comes to mind. So, interesting here, guys, your, uh, your person. Uh, Sad, so let me know uh, what you think if uh, you like this. I like to see this reading. I like doing it for you on the beach, Sad. Uh, thank you. Give me a like. It's easy. Good karma. Appreciate everybody subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really happy. Hit 300. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Want to get 1,000 so we can go live.